Here are 10 VR games that I feel have gone under the radar and some people may have missed, especially if you're new to virtual reality gaming. Starting with The Solus Project, this is a non-VR game that has a VR mode, so there are certain things like you can't pick things up with your hands and you need to use a laser pointer, but the sense of scale and atmosphere of this game is incredible. It's available on Steam for all PC VR headsets and PlayStation VR, it's currently $20 and goes on sale often. It's a survival adventure game, so no combat, but you do have dangers in the world like traps in the cave sections, and environmental hazards like meteor strikes, tornadoes, and lightning storms. I do have a full review on my channel if you want more information. Next we have Transference. This was made by Spectrovision and published by Ubisoft. It's a psychological thriller with fantastic graphics and a great atmosphere. It's available for PC VR, PlayStation VR and is $25. I recommend waiting for a sale as it's only around 2 hours long but it's something that shouldn't be missed and again I do have a review on the channel if you want more information. Westworld Awakening was a game that released in 2019 and it came out of nowhere. It's made by Servios, the same developers who made Raw Data and Creed Rise to Glory. It's only available on Steam so PC VR headsets only and it's $30. Again, wait for a sale, as it's about 4 hours long, but sees you placed in the Westworld universe as a host. You go through the game, trying to avoid an axe murderer, whilst trying to help someone escape. This was one of my favourite games of 2019, and it definitely needs more attention. And guess what? I've actually got a full review on this very channel. Shadow Point is an Oculus exclusive available for both Quest and Rift, but it does work great with Revive. It's my favourite VR puzzle game, with what looks like a simple concept of making shadows that match shapes on a wall. But as you progress through the levels, it keeps switching things up and it's full of surprises. It's a bargain at $20 and will take you around 6 hours to complete. If you like puzzle games, this is a must buy. Again, I have a full review for more information. Everspace is a popular space combat game with roguelike elements but some people may not know that it's got full VR support. I've played most of these types of games and this is my favourite. It's got some stunning graphics, loads of upgrades and features some really fast paced combat. This is PC VR only available on Steam for $30. V Racer Hoverbike is a futuristic racer with you riding a hoverbike with lots of different control options. My favourite is the handlebar method where you use your motion controllers like you're holding onto handlebars and then you simply lean and tilt to steer. It's got loads of tracks, great graphics and is fast paced fun. It's currently in early access on Steam and the Oculus Store for $20. Pro's Enlightenment is an adventure puzzle game that released in 2019 and it's got criminally low review count with only 50 reviews on Steam. I really enjoyed this game, it's got a good story and it's got some great atmosphere it's available on both Steam and the Oculus Store for $20 and it's going to take you around 3-4 to four hours to complete. A full review is on the channel. Zing the Land Beyond is another adventure puzzle game that sees you travel through 5 different locations. The game is beautiful and has some really interesting puzzle mechanics like changing from day to night or making it rain to get past levels. It's also a long game at around 8-10 to 10 hours. It's available on Steam Oculus and the PlayStation Store for $20, which I personally think is a bit of a steal. If you like dinosaurs, then you need to check out Robinson the Journey. It's an early VR game from 2017, it's more of a walking simulator with some light puzzle elements, but it has some of the best graphics made by Crytek. When you're stood in front of a Brachiosaurus, it's something that you're never going to forget. Make sure to turn off the temporal anti-aliasing and then super sample in-game as high as you can for the PC gamers. It's available on the Oculus Store, Steam and PlayStation VR at $20 and it'll take you around 5-6 to six hours to play through. A non-VR game from 2018 called Grip Combat Evolved recently got VR support and I don't see many people talking about it. If you're looking for a fully fleshed out futuristic combat racer with a single player campaign and an active multiplayer community you should check this out. You need to have a strong stomach as you're literally driving up walls and upside down and it can get a little disorientating at times, but I've been having an absolute blast playing this one. It's available on Steam, 
for $30, but I bought it recently on a sale for $10, so add it to your wish list and keep an eye out. A couple of bonus games. First, we've got Alien Isolation. Some people might not know that you can actually play Alien Isolation with a mod called Mother VR. It doesn't have motion control support, other than using the motion controllers as a gamepad, but it's still great to be able to play a AAA game in VR, and the atmosphere in this game is incredible, and it looks stunning. Lastly, another VR mod, this time it's for Doom 3 BFG, which you can pick up really cheap. The mod is called Fully Possessed, and it's got full room scale and motion control support. It's an old game, so it looks a little dated, but it's still loads of fun. And that's it. If you've got any other games you want to recommend, then let me know in the comments section below.